Hello and welcome to episode 31 of my QB Factorium tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on leaving Island 6 and starting Island 7. So I built up a good stockpile of most items. I want to try and do my next island in a more logical way because um, this it really your island can end up being a big mess of materials <laughs> so anyway let's see how we get on so let's leave island six and we will give island seven a start once it gets its act in order i'll pause it until it's ready right okay so here we go choosing island seven good job i did pause it because the game crashed on me uh, for some reason it's the first time it's ever happened so i'm not worried about that so as you can see here's all the islands i've done so far all of these uh, so my choices are these two next so let's have a look tier two desert tier two so they're both desert islands uh, let's do Hildegard Island first. So I'm going to select that. Okay. Right, so here we go at the beginning. And of course, there's no stockpiles, there's nothing. I've got a ship full of stuff, but I don't want to mess up my island by putting it all on the ground. So the first thing is strip all the resources and then build stockpiles so let's do that remember if you alt left click they'll do them all all of that type i don't have much room at the moment so i need to build a campfire as well but i want to clear all of this stuff off the ground and the trees I guess the first thing to do is build a big bonfire. To build a big bonfire, I'm going to need, let's have a look, if I can remember where the big bonfire is. I can never remember. There's the bonfire. There's the big bonfire. Right, so need, need wooden board and stone block. So I will need to get them off the boat first. And I'm going to need a few so let's see where's the wooden boards and the stone blocks um, there's the stone block so one two three four five and one two three four five that should get me started build a big bonfire let's put one down this end Let's put one over here. And I should really do a third one here. Uh, let's see what that opens up on the island. Right, let's speed things up a bit. Because this initial bit, there's not much going on until I can clear land and expand the territory to make room to actually do stuff. These trees don't look like they're being cut. Right, so they've taken the stuff off, they should start building. Why are they not doing the res Oh, is it because I need to get the tools off? So let's do that. Two. Oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I don't want to do that. Where's the tools? One, yeah, I needed to get the tools off, so let's do that. Iron tools, I'm going to get off, and I may as well get the weapons off as well. Let's get a few of each. I don't want to clutter up the ground too much. Shovels. Let's do them. Oh, hammers, very important as well. So I'm getting all my iron tools off and I should have iron hammers. Where are they? I did a stack of them. I did a stack of them. Oh. I suppose it'd do no harm to get some wooden balls off. Yeah, so there you go. They weren't doing nothing until I gave them some tools, which is logical after all. OK, 
can catch me out as it did there. Right, so once I've got my this expanded, let's try doing them again. Yeah, there you go. We'll cut them down this time. Now that big bonfire, what's going on? This in stone block. Oh, so it's stone blocks. Didn't get any of them off. Iron blocks. And no, that's mine play. Stone blocks. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That's the thing about QB Factorium, you've got to keep an eye on the detail. One little thing will stop a hop a halt to everything. Oh look, wonderful, so we got a bit more room. Oh, it's going over that way. Um, right, okay, so we want another campfire. Get as much land as I can. Um, Colonised. Remember, if you alt left click on a building, you can then quickly rebuild it. So we'll build one there. And one there. And if I've got enough resources, one there. Let's see how we get on. And uh, now I want to start doing stockpiles, really. I can do roads as well. Oh, I need to clear that. I really don't like seeing things in the way. case at the beginning of just clearing everything. So, otherwise they get in the way of the stockpiles. Nice, it's expanded up, opened up a lot of uh, room for me now. Lots of water in this one. I wish there was more land. I always need more land. Right, let's see about doing some roads. I'm going to do mud road to start with. And it's best to do it from the boat. some more tools off. Five of them. Wish it would stop moving. Five of them. And the shovels. I want to get five of them. Let's get some swords. No doubt there'll be some fighting. stone now so I'll be able to do stone roads soon instead of mud. In fact let's do a stop bar for the stone. We're gonna need that. Do a knock, another stockpile here for wood, I guess. So wooden logs can go there. Now I wonder if I've got access to a quarry. If not, and stone proves to be short, I'll just do a shipping port. Oh, that's a nice bit of land there to work on. I 
Yeah, clear the land and then start laying out your colony. Now, what can I put here? So I think a road across there. Let's start doing stone roads. Remember the thing to remember about QB Factorium is it's just fun. You know, you don't got a rush. No one's gonna die. Why can't my road work? Uh, so you just enjoy yourself, take your time. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't want to put my road across this pasture. I like the way you get stone back. I mean, I do forgive the game for not letting me put a road across there because it gives you the resource back, which is cool. Right, need a stockpile for copper and iron. Once this is out of the way, then I can do a road along here. Uh, let's just. Oh, I've got to wait for that to be mined. Come on, you've got stone picks. You should be able to do it. Do food, so many things. I'm so glad they don't die, because if they did die of thirst or hunger, all my colonists would be dead. God, there must be a lot of resources from this block. Yeah, look at that. From that one block, you get 14 copper, and it's gone down. So, so you can see as they're mining, it's going down. So I wonder how many it was to begin with. That's cool though. You get iron, copper. And rock. Did I need it all? Of course. Uh, right, I should really start on food. This time I want to just, and it's desert, so I want to just focus on doing them greenhouses that I've shown previously. If I can fit them in. Why isn't that being mined? because they stop your getting in the way of your stockpiles all of this got completely clear the land that means there's going to be a load of clay no doubt on the ground as well oh wow it's looking a real mess but we'll get there if this ever gets mined away I wonder if I should give them some more pickaxes speed things up a bit. <coughs> yeah, they're taking him. There you go. I don't want to put too much down on the ground. And I'd obviously pulled these stone blanks off when I didn't need them. That was a bit silly. I'll make a stop path them eventually. Right, they're getting all that mined away. Mined. 
Right, let's do an iron stockpile. How big should I do it, I wonder? I wouldn't have really wanted to have the road run along there, but I guess the road can run along the middle. So, let's do a stockpile. For now, I'm not too worried about how the layout is. I just want to try and clear this land of all the resources lying on it. Um, and it looks like gold as well we need. Gold ore as well. No combat yet. So I should have checked whether this island had enemies. It doesn't matter if they don't. I don't mind. I just like enjoy the crafting side of it. And also, how can I get across here? Do I have to do a bridge or something? I'm not too sure. Let's clear all of this. So many things to mine. alongside these. sleep on the ground. I'm going to put a road under them while they're sleeping. Never mind. Oh wow, is that the time already? So yeah, this first episode really is just laying the foundations of clearing land and designing my salt wood because you've got bits like this. I mean, it's good for growing trees, um, which I'm going to need to do in a minute so I'll run out of wood. It does get in the way of things. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. 20 minutes is past. Well, the time has gone, but I did pause it, so probably could go on a couple of minutes. But I need to just really lay out lots of stockpiles. We'll carry on in the next episode. I don't want to skip by anything. All my fumbling and bumbling. I want to show it all. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching. And have a fantastic day. Goodbye.